And it is 9 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. I'm Andrea Anderson. A Cavour firefighter was laid to rest earlier today. Family, friends, and fellow first responders joined together to remember the life of Josh Kogel. Yeah, Kogel lost his life while fighting a fire in Huron on September 4th. Photojournalist Troy Timmerman has more in our 9 o'clock top story tonight. <laughs> But there's fire departments uh, from across the state, um, all the way from the west side of the state to the east side of the state to the southern to the northern. And as you look at the, uh, the show of support that showed up here this morning, uh, it's just a, a great tribute to Josh and what he's done for this community, what he's done for uh, his fire department, and, uh, and a show of support for his family as well. We sometimes wear different uniforms, but we are on the same team. And so it's, we're there for each other. We have each other's backs, and so it's here to pay respect and to show that support. It hits you hard because we know when you see a, a line of duty death, we know that uh, nobody wants it to happen in their own community, but we know it's always possible. And you just start uh, having that, uh, those, that remorse and, and think about that fire department that suffered that line of duty death. And not just fire department, you see it on all types of uh, first responders as well, uh, whether it's law enforcement, uh, uh, you know, ambulance or fire department. When you hear about those, you just uh, you immediately you know, have a soft spot for that. Well, it brings back memories for us. In Elkton, we lost a firefighter in 2006. So we, we have we experienced this personally, and so you know what it feels like. You, can, uh, you have a lot of empathy and sympathy for the departments that are hurting from this, and that's why you go and you're there for their support. Absolutely critical, you know, that you're there for them, that you're, you, you're watching over them, and you're there for a fellow firefighter. As you look up and down this road today, you just see a line of fire trucks, um, you know, blocks long um, from, a, like I said, all around the state. It's a great feeling to know that there's that type of support within South Dakota, uh, with friends and family and, and the brother and sisterhood of the fire departments. Well, we're all a big family. You know, it's, you're paying respects. You're, you're gonna be there for your fellow brothers and sisters in the service. And that's whether you're an EMS and you're... <laughs> law enforcement or your fire. We are all one big family. Photojournalist Troy Timmerman with that story for us tonight. Kogel served the community for over 20 years.